Our next unit is going to be about energy and how energy transfers through a food chain, starting with our producers all the way up to the consumers. So we're going to be talking about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. To help us get started with this unit, I want to introduce you um, to my son, Ryan, and my nephew, Charlie. Ryan's six. Charlie's six. So... Okay. What do plants need to grow? Um, water, water, sun, water, sun, and you eat soil. Eat heat soil. Heat is the same thing. As what? Heat, soil, air, water. Okay, what kind of air do they need? Do you know what kind of air they need? Oxygen. Carbon dioxide, actually. They need carbon dioxide? Yeah, okay. because they give us mm -hmm. oxygen. I just so we can breathe in, mm -hmm. and then we breathe out carbon dioxide, so plants can get carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's go back to the sugar that plants make during photosynthesis. It's called glucose. Have you heard of that before? No. Yes. No. Yes. I haven't. You have, Ryan? Yes. Mm -hmm. So plants make glucose, and then guess what What do you do with plants? How do you get the energy? <gasps> Sun well, and water. Okay, but that's how the plants get their energy. But how do you get energy from the plants? What do you have to do? Um, feed them water. No, no, no. Okay. How do you, you get the energy from the plants? Oh, I no. think I know now. By, by giving them energy, then we get energy by giving them energy. Okay, but how would you get energy from the plants? What would you have to do? We would maybe give them water, and then our arm are twisting, and we're getting a little power. <laughs> so, you, can I? Do you want me to tell you the answer? Yeah. Okay. So, Ryan, turn around here. So, if we eat plants, then we get the energy that plants have made. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. He calls something that eats plants. There's a term for that. Herbivore. Okay, can you tell me something that's a herbivore? A plant? A tree? No. No, <laughs> that eats plants. Oh. So gazelle. A gazelle? What else? I know an underwater food chain. Okay, oh, tell me. That would be great. Underwater food chain. Turtle? No, no, no. Okay, what do you start with, Charlie? Um, phytoplankton. 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 Which is eaten by. I'll be right back. What's the other? I'll be really quick. The crabs eat it. Okay. Crabs eat it. I'll be right back. Okay. What? What? What's the other? Zooplankton. Zooplankton. Uh, so the phytoplankton is eaten by the zooplankton, and the zooplankton is eaten by the air squid, and the air squid is eaten by the giant squid. Giant squid is eaten by the sperm whale. Okay, so let's try and make sense of um, what they said. So first of all, plants are able to capture the energy from the sun and convert that into food. The food is glucose, and they do that in the chloroplast. They do that using water and carbon dioxide, and they're able to make oxygen and glucose. Um, so the equation is carbon dioxide plus water yields sugar or glucose plus oxygen. The next part of that process is called cellular respiration. Um, cellular respiration happens in the mitochondria, and what is happening there is that we're taking the food that we make in photosynthesis, and then once you've made that food, you actually have to break it down in order to get the energy from it. The energy is called ATP. And so that requires oxygen in the glucose or the sugar that was made in photosynthesis, and then with some help of some enzymes, that gets broken down ultimately into water and carbon dioxide um, and also gives me some energy, which is the ATP. So I want you guys to take a few minutes and press pause on this video and record the information in the table into your folder. You're going to do this in the front of your folder and it should take up about half. So the front half of your folder and record the table.